Hey everybody. First thing I gotta do is say thanks to my good friend Rick out there at Castle. I know you've been going through some hard times, man. You sent me some money today and uh, I, I can't put into words how much I appreciate it. That and all the help you've given me thus far. I'll talk to you soon. Anyways, I didn't check to see what the humidity is today because it's not terrible. Call the cops if that's your thing. Eh, over 90 degrees today. It's been fun. It's one of them days where I can't I can't drill a hole. And I, I drill a one eighth inch hole and my one eighth inch rivet won't go into it. So I gotta redrill the hole. That's all day long. First thing I did today was I came out and put these stringers that I said I was going to do there and there. You can see me from the other side. Obviously, I've reinstalled the skin. Uh, the skin is off a little bit, as you can see here. So I'm going to have to redo this entire piece. That's fine. I can reuse this piece somewhere else. Uh, this thing is, it's an airplane. It's not going anywhere. Next thing I've done is I've installed these permanent mounts for the flight engineer's table. We'll go inside and get a better view of it for you. Gonna put some uh, strengtheners on this wall and I think drill a hole right there, which will represent that wall that goes down all the way to bulkhead 1.1. And of course, as I mentioned, there's gonna be big rails in here or struts or a shelf for the prop synchronizer that sits here. So there will be a considerable amount of detail once that's all done. Let's go inside here and see what's going on. Okay. So, what I've done is, is I've continued this piece out here. And I've added that support that goes straight down. And this will continue the side of the flight deck and it stops right there on the real airplane. And of course this wall, which is not, I'm not modeling, goes in, down through there, about two inches behind that, and continues along down into the, uh, auxiliary instrument panels. I'm tired. That's pretty much what it looks like on the real aircraft. I don't know if I can get that out of now. Nah, he's locked. But anyways, now that that's out of the way. Tomorrow, if everything goes well, I'm going to cut the piece of panel that goes like so. And that'll be... That'll be done with the exception of a little bit of work. I got to tie that in right there. Just stuff like that. Then it'll be ready to go. I got to get back there and put a few more rivets in that bulkhead. Not the end of the world. And once that's done, that'll be done with that side. Uh, use these grommets that you can see there. They use those over there as well, so I'll have to incorporate those. I'll just tack it with some rivets and then go back and put uh, proper screws with the grommets in there. <sighs> I got to redo that door right there because it's not supposed to have those uh, those tapered edges. They're supposed to be straight. Little things like that bug the crap out of me. Those are correct right there, though. <sighs> Man. I also need to make like a sat it's not burlap it's some kind of other material that goes down like a little pouch that one has a pouch as well but that's getting really close to being done over there 
man. Well, that's about it. I'll see y'all next time.